Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. This is an experimental video. I bought this UPS and it's just fun to play with. I ran a fridge for three days with just these two batteries and this UPS. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries, 12 volt. So I've got two of them hooked together for 24 volts. This is a 1300 watt uninterruptible power supply. It's designed to run your desktop so that if a power outage happens, you don't lose all your work that you've been working on on your desktop. But 1300 watts, I mean, that's a lot. This will easily run a freezer. It'll probably run all three of these freezers with a big enough battery. You'd have to have some bigger cables coming into it too. I'm only around one freezer. Most it runs at 135 watts. So we're running this chest freezer where I got the UPS is plugged in currently. Everything is off. So it is Sunday, February 23rd at 1 p.m. We're starting out with a battery voltage of 26.5 volts. We're gonna turn this on now. So the volts are good. We're at 19. Turn this over to I want watt. Yeah, it's running. So we're running to 86 watts right now. 86 watts is how much power this compressor is using to cool this freezer. These start out a little higher than they come down, and that's about as low as it'll get. Well, 85 watts now. So that's pretty typical for running the compressor. Now we're gonna unhook the UPS from the power strip here and watch this jump up. Well, we're clear down to 83 now. This is gonna jump up as soon as I unplug this because it's gonna be running the UPS off the batteries. We gotta bring it back to watts, yeah, 116. So the UPS does take a bit of power and it's got the fan runs on this all the time. When you're running off the batteries, all right, so we're just gonna let this run and see how long it goes. Once it runs these two batteries dead, I'm gonna hook in 500 watts of solar and then we're gonna run it that way and see what happens. So we'll catch you in a few days. We made it two days running this freezer here. It's one of the bigger freezers down here. We'd probably make it longer on this one, but I'm kind of surprised because it ran a fridge for over three days and it didn't quite make two days with this freezer. Power's off, batteries have died. So our batteries are at 23.7 now. We're gonna go ahead and hook up solar panels to this and then we're gonna see how long we can go with some solar on here. First thing we gotta do is loosen these up and hook some more wires in here for our charge controller. So hook this negative. We, I'm hooking the charge controller on the bottom because it'll be putting more power in than the UPS is using. So this is a wire harness I've built for other things. It had small connectors on, so I hooked it into these bigger ones so I could hook it onto the battery. But I use them for all kinds of stuff. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our batteria, battery charger. Batteria sent me out a couple of these battery chargers to try out, and they've been great. I've been using them on everything. They do 24 volt and 12 volt, so it's perfect for this experiment, and they do lead acid, lithium, and gel batteries. It's already programmed for lithium, so it's good to go. We just gotta hook some solar panels into this end. There's the wires. We're gonna go outside, hook these to some panels. I have two 250 watt panels. That gives me 500 watts of panels. The charge controller is good for 900 watts at 24 volts. So this is gonna work really well. Now I'm gonna check the voltage. These are 37 volts open circuit. So we're gonna go ahead and check them with the voltmeter. There you have it, 32.9 open circuit voltage is what we actually have right here on the panels. And the charge controller is good for 55 volts open circuit, which means we've got to parallel these. We can't series them, we'd go over voltage. So we're gonna parallel them. Here I have both of the positives, one from each panel. Got the combiner connector here. Snap this onto there, that onto there. Now we are paralleled on the positive. Here's the connector for the negative. Take the negative. This is what I like about solar these days. It's so easy. You just buy all these fancy little connectors. They're really inexpensive and it's that easy. Now I'm paralleled and I've got my positive and my negative ready to hook into my cables. So with both panels hooked together, we've got 33.3 volts. I'm gonna start with the negative, plug that in. 
run this over and poke it into the house. Okay, now we're doing our positive. Snap that in there, run this over, run that into the house. We've pulled the cables in. I'm just double checking them. I always like to check to make sure my positive is positive, my negative is negative, and it is. I've got voltage here, everything is good. We're gonna hook our negative up. Now our positive, oh, we're getting some activity here. It's starting to charge. We're gonna go ahead and hook into the Bluetooth real quick and I'll show you how that works. Yeah, I'm logged into the app. We are charging at 315 watts is what's coming in. Batteries are at 26.2 volts, 12 amps. We're gonna go ahead and power it up. Hear that? She's live, the freezer's on. UPS is unplugged. We're drawing 115, 16 watts up and running. So we're charging like 200 watts more than it's consuming. So I think this will go a long time. We're gonna go ahead and just run it and see how many days it goes. So we'll catch it a few days. All right, we are 120, Tuesday, March 4th, and we are still running. Here we are, day nine. So two days on just the batteries, and then we hooked up the solar, and we've been seven days on just the solar. This will run years, obviously. We had a cloudy day yesterday, and so we actually did run out of power sometime in the night, but it's still all good and frozen. I did turn it back on this morning, and it's charging up really nice. We're charging at 349 watts right now. We've got 27.7 volts in the battery. So good and sunny today. That'll charge these all the way back up. We could have another cloudy day tomorrow and still be powering just fine. And these leads, some people are asking me, they look kind of small and they're not getting hot at all because we're only running 135 watts through them. So yeah, all in all, fun little experiment. I could go longer, could just keep running this and running this, but I do need to put these two batteries in our RV. And I'm gonna hook some smaller batteries to this. And then I'm gonna hook it up to the Starlink. That's what I actually bought this for. But I thought, you know what, I, I wanna play with some freezers and fridges with it. Did run a fridge for three days with just the batteries. We did not hook solar up when I was running the fridge. But yeah, fun little experiment. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you all in the next video.